You know, I've criticized various forms of Toontown before for not going as far as they can, and I think I've pinpointed the problem. Mickey's Toontown in California is a great effort, and it does a lot well, but it's still at its core themed after a sanitized approximation of generic cartoon zaniness that can be safe for Disneyland kids, but still vaguely resemble something from Roger Rabbit. Vaguely without being sued by the various Tex Avery rights holders. There are as many styles of cartooniness as there are styles of music, and Toontown is trying to be a one-stop amalgamation of all of them, with some Disney sanitation. But Seuss Landing knows exactly what style it's trying to emulate. Seuss style. We all know it when we see it, and they nailed it. And it makes even the generic rides they clone from Fantasyland appear unique. Look, One Fish, Two Fish is just a Dumbo-type spinner ride, but it looks like something from Seuss. The carousel is just a carousel, but it's got Seuss creatures. If I Ran the Zoo is barely an attraction at all, but Seuss creatures! Even the standard metal handrails have a Seussly shape about them. Our greatest challenge in building Seuss was really overcoming the propensity for engineers and builders to build everything at right angles and at 90 degrees. There's not a straight line in the entire 12 acres of Seuss Landing. 